What's up YouTube? It's JV Tech Fanatic and I'm back again with another video. I want to start my video by thanking each and every one of you for joining me today. I would absolutely be honored and humbled if you would consider subscribing. Don't forget to mash that thumbs up button if you like this video. And if you want to be notified when new videos are coming, don't forget to click the notification bell. Well guys, today we're taking it to the kitchen. And who's better to do it with than Samsung? Now, if you've watched my latest QLED Q9 videos, you know that 2018 is a big year for Samsung. They have some great, just really cool products out. So, none better than them to bring us the Four Door Flex 2018. Now, it was about two years ago, I believe 2016, I remember being in the Home Depot with my wife, and all of a sudden, we saw that year's version of this fridge and my immediate thought was, wow, that is really cool. Fast forward to today, Samsung has had a couple years now to learn about this experience in the kitchen and just maximize the potential of what they can do with a smart hub on your refrigerator. The 2018 edition is something that is beautiful to look at, but also has a lot of great functions but not forgetting to take the most important part of refrigeration, and that is keeping your food at maximum freshness for as long as possible. Samsung has not disappointed this year. I'm very excited about this refrigerator. Now, to start it off, guys, this refrigerator is not inexpensive by any means. You're looking at anywhere from $3,800 to $5,000, depending on what model you get. Now this is the 28 cubic foot. They have basically sizes to fit every home this year, so they've expanded on that. But to make sure that you're getting the latest edition, there is a couple things that you need to look for. The first thing is, is that they added an AKG soundbar right to the front here, and it actually says AKG on it. If it has this soundbar, you know that you're getting the latest model in 2018. In addition to that, the new um, refrigerator, just like the new QLEDs, have full Bixby voice support. So this has all the latest from Samsung, but it also shows how companies are really starting to compete in the smart home field. So when I say that, last year's model had like uh, Google voice support and some of the other ones, this year, they're sticking with Bixby and they're going for the full-fledged smart home experience with Samsung SmartThings. So, this is the unboxing. Obviously, you can see the front of the fridge. We'll go ahead, we'll check out inside, and then we'll go over all the smart features and how to set it up. Guys, I'm so happy you're here and I'm so excited about this refrigerator. Let's right, guys, start. let's take a look inside. First thing you'll notice is that they have beautiful recessed handles with chrome. All four doors can open individually. Now, the beauty about this refrigerator is that it's called the Flex for a reason. So basically, you can turn one of these bottom portions into an additional fridge, or you can have it as a freezer. They do have a built-in wine rack and a lot of special functions that come with this, including Samsung Elite Service, um, again, it's got a high price, so they do give you a complimentary technician home visit where they'll come out and they'll explain everything to you. But you want to go ahead and make sure to get all the plastic and everything out of the refrigerator. And another very important thing is, is right here, as you can see, is the three cameras. The three cameras have plastic on them, and if you don't take that plastic off, it's going to make you think that the cameras are blurry. So go ahead and get rid of that. Um, the water filter is in a nice spot here. It is just right dead center. It kind of just twists out and unlocks. The Ice Master is pushed all the way to the side. Now, they are claiming that this thing makes over eight pounds of ice a day. That is insane for a, you know, a home refrigerator. I look forward to really seeing if that happens. Then you get the metal cooling. So this is supposed to evenly distribute the cooling, help your food stay fresh longer. And as you can see, 
They have different slits where the air comes through, giving you an even cooling range, and that even goes into the bottom portion. In the old days, or not even that old, in my last refrigerator, it only had one piece right there in the middle, and all the cooling came from the freezer, which caused sometimes, you know, my lettuce or whatever to freeze because it was not evenly distributing everything. And now, as you can see, it's saying that this has been open too long. Sometimes a uh, smart fridge might be too smart for us. And now that I almost broke my hinge off, that's the inside. Let's jump into the smart features. First thing, display. Now in display, you can turn up or down the brightness. You can set home screen wallpaper or photos. The photos portion comes from whatever you upload from your phone or tablet, or you could pick any wallpaper that's downloaded. You know, for now, we'll just keep the generic one on there. And once that's complete, then you back out and there's something called motion detector. Motion detector is basically to keep the screen turned on or off because as you can see, it has a screen timeout just like a phone. So the maximum time, 300 seconds. If that's set and motion detector is off, it will shut off until you touch it and wake it back up. Otherwise, it will use the sensors on the screen to turn back on. Sound, basically you have media and system. Media, if you're listening to music or you're casting from your QLED TV or your Samsung TV, uh, you turn that up and down to your liking. The system would be, you know, like Bixby's voice. It has an equalizer, standard, music, surround, speech, and silver. Silver is going to give you actually, in my opinion, thus far, the best crispest voice, uh, especially with music, but you could pick whichever one you like. Touch sounds, again, that would be the touch sounds of the screen, as you can hear. You could turn those on or off. Next, Wi-Fi. So as soon as you plug in your refrigerator, it's going to greet you with connect to Wi-Fi. So go ahead and pick the Wi-Fi connection that you use in your home, sign in. Next, you're gonna to want to definitely sign into your Samsung account. If you do not have one, go ahead and sign up for one. Then you can you know, sign in with your smart hub for your Samsung smart things. Next, Bluetooth, you can connect with your Bluetooth devices. Voice and profile are pretty important if you plan on using Bixby Voice along with the calendar functions because your profile will be what you sign in to your email or you know whatever you store your calendars on. And then the voice actually is going to learn your voice by you using their voice ID and teaching it your voice the same way you do on your Samsung phone. Now with voice wake up on, you could do just like on your phone. Hey Bixby, is it cold in San Diego? No, it is not cold currently in San Diego, California, and there is no cold weather in the forecast. As you can see, you have Bixby voice here. Um, it's the full assistant. It's listening to me. So let's go ahead and stop it. So definitely go through the program. Let it learn your voice and whoever is going to use this. Um, you know, if you're storing your meetings or whatever in your calendar, you want to make sure that you get the right information. Now, everything else on here is a lot like a phone. They have a cool feature called clean screen mode, and basically this lets you wipe down the screen. Now, I still have the protective film on this, but you know, if you don't want this, you know, pushing all the buttons kind of like on your phone, and this kind of says clean top section of the screen, then you would hit next and it says clean the bottom, blah, 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 and then you're done. So that's a pretty cool feature. The next accessibility, um, you can go ahead and you could do your text to speech options, font size, you can make it as big or small as you please. Um, you can also turn on negative color, which would turn everything black. We'll leave it white for now, just for recording purposes, but I actually prefer the black color better than the white. I actually do the same thing on my TV. 
And then, you know, you have a lot of features to just customize the way you react or interact, sorry, react, the way you interact with it and then the sizes. Now, if you have any questions about how to use this fridge, the first thing I thought was is where's all the books for the fridge? Usually you get a big heap of them. Um, I didn't get any books with this fridge actually. And I realized that everything you need is right here. The manual is actually built in. Um, if you do ever need to do a factory data reset, you can do that just like your phone or your tablet. And then the same thing with remote management as on your TV, they can log in and help troubleshoot any problems by activating that. Now, jumping into all the cool stuff this can do, we have our apps menu. Now, there is a few music providers um, not as many as I'd like to see, but it seems that the apps have definitely grown in number since they first launched this refrigerator. But you have Pandora, and you know you can listen to the music on there, iHeartRadio, and again, it goes right out of the AKG soundbar. The soundbar sounds great. The bass could be a little better, but hey, it's a refrigerator at the end of the day. But really cool feature let's say that you are watching the basketball game but you're hey you have people over and you're having a barbecue or you need to cook smart view is built right in you would go ahead and open that and i have the q9 set up to be ready for this and it will automatically display whatever is on the tv right there you could turn it up and down Again, looks like my kids are watching something. We'll get this off before the copyright people get after me. <laughs> but anyway, that's a really cool feature. Again, if you're watching maybe a cooking show and you want a recipe, you can watch it right there. And you know, guys, actually, I've tried it out now. You know, once it fully loads itself up, it, as long as you have a good, strong Wi-Fi connection in your house, no problems with it at all. Picture's great. The only thing I'd like to see is maybe a stretch to screen mode come. Um, as of right now, I have not found one. The next option is view inside. So view inside is the way to see inside of your refrigerator. Now you can do this from anywhere. Now the, um, the home hub app allows you to, you know, see inside your fridge and then the food list we have here, you know, as you put stuff in the fridge, you want to make sure that you add it and basically the way this works is let's just say you have some eggs and it says that they expire in 30 days you would then add it you would put eggs refrigerator and then you would put to set reminder on the 30 day mark and then the refrigerator will remind you when it's getting close and then when you run out of it you can also you know log into your refrigerator from the store and see that you're out or that it's expired you're not out but you need to get rid of it before you give all of your kids food poisoning right so that's a really cool feature however it is something that you're going to have to manually do and i'm sure that's going to you know be a little bit of a learning curve but I really recommend to try it out because if you get this down and you really start using it, I could see it being very beneficial and actually really cool. So next we have the whiteboard, you know, where you can write messages. The whiteboard is just like a whiteboard should be. My wife wrote me a beautiful note. Thank you, babe. But you could actually send this to um, as a message, write to her or to me. The kids can leave you messages. You can leave each other notes. I thought that was cool. Pinterest is a very popular um, app or website. My wife loves it. I'm not really interested in it, but it's on there. But we got Samsung Smart Things. One thing I do, I do want to mention is just like your phone, if anything is not on the home app, you can add it just like your phone there just by hitting app, um, add the widget to the home, and then you're good. Otherwise, here is your house. Now, if you have several houses, you could flip away to your away or home, but everything could be accessed right here on your refrigerator. Now, this is really cool because, you know, if you just want to mess with 
your AC, maybe you're a little hot. You could simply go into here, log in, and turn it up or down right from your refrigerator. Now, once it's all loaded up, it does get faster since I'm just kind of setting this up. We'll just not bother waiting for it. Everything is right there on the hub for you. Now, the next thing, you know, the shopping list function is going to be another big thing that goes with being able to see inside of your refrigerator. Um, once your shopping list is activated, you can add anything you want simply and then send it to your phone and you can actually view this all right from your phone when you're at the store. You got your gallery. Gallery is your photos that you upload from, again, your phone. Ring doorbell is built right in. Now, this is a really cool feature because when you have the new motion detection, you actually will get an automatic video of who's walking up to your door right here, and you don't have to wait for anything. You don't have to hit answer. You could just see it. Now, if you want to talk to them, you can go ahead and answer and talk to them. Bixby Voice, of course, all recipes, Fresh Direct, Home Advisor, you can give memos. All of this stuff is all things that are basically on a gigantic tablet. You got your weather, Spotify. Ooh, I didn't even notice Spotify. That's a really big one there. I guess that makes sense since Samsung bought Spotify. So you got that for music also. I did miss that. Sorry. Um, and you actually have a full-fledged browser right on your phone. And what I've learned about this is that it is actually really snappy and fast, believe it or not. Just type in whatever, but you basically have a computer right on your phone. Now, the biggest thing that I see this being is let's just say you want to bake potatoes well maybe we know how to do that but you have the ingredients and the recipe right here in the kitchen and another thing that i really like about this is usually you know when a refrigerator door is open everything shuts down doesn't make any difference it stays on all the time you know if you need to turn it a little bit and you want to see you can but again guys i mean look how fast and snappy that is just like a big tablet now, these are the smart features that I have seen so far. There's probably going to be more to come. Grubhub is on there. Deals, trivia, things to do in the kitchen, you know, for your kids to play with. So far, my kids just don't want to stop touching this refrigerator. All in all, guys, really, really cool, really easy to set up. And everything is right here, ready to control your house and get everything rolling. Quick look at that function. As you can see, we got the Cleveland Cavaliers playing on Saturday. That's important to me. It's right there on the calendar, right on your fridge. And that's it, guys. I mean, that's really, you know, you got your Pandora music right here. You got your notifications right here on the fridge. It says that, you know, my house got too hot so smart things turned down the temperature to cool down my house i got my home hub was disconnected temporarily um it was me resetting it and then you know of course your quick settings here wi-fi bluetooth bixby and settings last thing is is you know just like your phone or tablet once you're done using all of your functions, you simply press the little Windows icon. You see everything that you were doing. And you can just close or clear all just like your phone. Shut everything down. And you probably want to do that every now and then to make sure everything stays nice and snappy and fast for you. Last but not least, probably the most important thing as far as using your fridge is the fridge manager. Now the fridge manager, this is where you can really switch it up with your fridge. First of all, to change the temperature, you would just touch it, you would put it to where you want it. Power cool, when you turn on power cool, this actually you know, makes your fridge get really cold really fast, more or less, right? You would hit save, then you can decide on your bottom options. Now as you could see here on this one, you can make this either a wine cellar, 
something for just cheese and vegetables, meat and fish, or soft freeze, or a full-fledged freezer. Now, what I think and what I am going to do is with soft freeze, it's perfect for, you know, maybe soda or beer or whatever you like to drink to have that extremely cold but not yet frozen perfect blend. That's the option right there. So basically the bottom right corner of your fridge can be the perfect, you know, setup for any kind of drink you want. Or if you want to have a wine refrigerator, you no longer have to have a separate fridge in your house for your wine. You can simply hit wine there. Pretty cool. And then, of course, you have your freezer there. Now, you can also see if the water filter is clean or not, whether or not it's making ice, and the outside temperature and the humidity is all there. Then you can go over here to fridge settings. If you don't want it to make ice, you can turn that on or off. You could shut off the door alarm, which of course we heard go off on us. Um, you could you know, put the temp unit you want. It tells you if your filter, you could do a self check, um, make sure that everything is okay in your refrigerator. So it basically will tell us if there's anything wrong, if we need to have someone out to fix it. And then you can actually shut off cooling that is more you know for in the store for displays so everything that you need as far as using your refrigerator goes is right here on the touch screen it's very easy and simple and if you ever need any help they have the little help icon right there to explain everything to you so now let's real quickly just take a real close look at the inside of the fridge so you guys can really see what it looks like. Lots of space to really organize, which Let's be honest, we can all use a little help organizing sometimes. All right, guys, so we took a look inside and we checked out all the smart features that are so far enabled on the Smart Hub. So what's the next question we have? Should we buy? And my answer is, heck yes, you should buy. If you're in the market for a smart fridge, guys, I mean, look at this thing. This black stainless steel is beautiful with the stainless steel trim, beautiful big screen with an AKG uh, soundbar built in, Bixby voice support, and the technology to keep your food fresh, to tell you what you need at the grocery store, to help you get discounts put on your shopper's card. I mean, guys, I'm sorry, the child in me, the tech lover in me, everything about this fridge makes me wanna just hug it, right? So. The question is, is it time to bring technology into the kitchen? I say yes, I love it. If you guys have the budget for it, definitely check this out. Guys, I am so thankful and honored that you are here with me today. As always, I want you guys to go out today, do something good for someone, make someone smile, make someone's day better. Guys, life is so short. And I just want to say, love your family, love your friends and your neighbors, take care of each other. Guys, the world is sick and evil, and it just seems to be getting worse every day. The only people that can change it is us. Let's make each other smile. Let's help each other out. And guys, most of all, I want to thank you for taking the time to watch my videos. I would be absolutely honored if you'd hit that subscribe button. I know you hear this all day on YouTube. But it's such a big thing and it's important to the developer for the support to help them grow their channel. For me guys, it's not about the money. It's about reaching as many people as I can and helping them smile because I love tech and I know most of you love tech. And when we learn about it together, that's what it's all about. If you have questions or comments about anything guys, please reach out to me in the comment sections. You can also find me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, at JV Tech Fanatic. But guys, I do YouTube for you and you only. Nobody pays me to say anything's better than another. 
I do this for you. Therefore, if you have a question, I will give you my honest answer. Now, will you always agree with me? Of course not. We all have our own opinions and that's okay with me. And all I want you guys to know is that I'm here for you. If you need me, I'll do my best. If I can't answer, I will tell you, hey, I don't know. But other than that, guys, thank you for sticking around. I can't wait to see you in the next video. And until then, this is JV Tech Fanatic. You guys take care. I'm out. Peace.